Before we get started, I'm gonna need y'all to quit playing with my uncle on my wallet and buy some shit. I ain't gonna do what you was gonna do. What's good, YouTube family? This is Brother Omawale, your favorite corporate dropout, back with another necessary upload. Before we get into today's discussion, I want to take a moment to thank all of our members on the channel. I want to give a major salute to my Asafo gang for y'all continued support. If this is your first time here, please do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you smack that like button. Feel free to leave a comment. I do engage with the commenters, the viewers of the channel. And as always, I appreciate you all for the support and continuing to come through and rock with me. That said, I want to have a conversation um, pertaining to the current state of the black manosphere. Uh, as many of you know, uh, the talk of the streets has been the passing of the brother Kevin Samuels, who transitioned about a week ago. Uh, and he left pretty big shoes to fill. Um, he was undoubtedly uh, the undisputed king of the black manosphere. And many people are asking now that he's passed on, who will step up and fill the void? Uh, there's been lots of conversations about what the new black manosphere will look like. And I actually have a prediction. I predict that the new black manosphere will be a return or a throwback to the old black manosphere. Uh, the Manosphere over the past few years has been growing and evolving. A lot of people like to talk about Manosphere 1.0, Manosphere 2.0, Manosphere 3.0. A lot of the newer content creators that came in on the Kevin Samuels wave, a lot of the uh, professional um, or corporate you know, uh, you know, content creators that entered the space uh, due to Kevin Samuels' popularity. But as we all know, over the past few months before Kevin's passing, there was a lot of and fighting and conflict in the space that led to a lot of the more successful and larger content creators to say that they were distancing uh, themselves from the Manosphere and some of the unsavory characters. A lot of folks have taken on a, a no beef policy. Um, so a lot of the conflict that was ongoing led to folks saying, you know what, I'm backing away. You know, I'm a pretty successful black male content creator. I enjoy doing this content to empower black men, uh, to push new discussions, right, to expand our outreach within black media. But at the end of the day, I'm like not here for the nonsense. So a lot of the folks like your MTRs, uh, your O'Shea's talked about, you know, they felt a need to leave or distance themselves from the black manosphere. And, he, and even Kevin, to a lesser extent, was clearly distancing himself from some of the drama that arose after his interview with Brittany Renner. You know, it was a whole Renner gate that happened within the black manosphere after that whole debacle or situation occurred. But nevertheless, we are where we are today. And people are having the conversation about what the new black manosphere will look like. So what I want to do really quick is I want to review uh, some uh, commentary by a, a pretty well-known uh, creator in the black manosphere by the name of Edward Anderson. So I'm going to play this clip. This was a response that he was doing uh, to Umar Johnson's remarks on Kevin Samuels and Umar actually supporting uh, Kevin and defending him against kind of like the slander and the vitriol that was coming from the sisterhood. All right. So let me play this clip and we'll get right into it. Dude, we got people in our space that's more on what y'all talking about than y'all are. We didn't just come to this space. This space is not amalgamation of niggas that just say fuck black women. We got kids with black women. A lot of us are married to black women. We're just willing to say what you all are too fucking fagged up and bitch made to say. You all are too castrated to say. Dog niggas, they want you to talk to them like you fucking castrated. Cause in their mind, they actually believe that black men talk to white men like that. They want to talk to you. They want you to talk to them how they think Black men talk to white men. Uh, what Edward is talking about here is the way in which Umar uh, dialogues with some of his um, uh, female critics. Um, I think that Umar has often stated that, you know, one of his major problems with Kevin Samuels was the way in which he dialogued with some of the 
uh, female guests. You know, many brothers say that Kevin gave the women the same energy that he gave to them. Um, but nevertheless, I think that what Ed is saying here is that the only acceptable way of speaking to a black woman um, from a black woman's perspective is if you are basically showing submission, you know, if you are giving her deference or behaving in a very but broken manner, right? This is the argument that he's articulating here, but I'll, you know, just wanted to, I wanted to give you all context, but I'll continue to play it. This is why I say it ain't even no argument to be had. We just need to start removing resources and a little reason, the resources we do give them and just say, bitch, ain't nothing to talk about and let them wallow, um, bless them and hope they hope for the best. And then it is what it is. Honestly, black women need to come to us on their fucking knees. And that is really only the only time. And I'm going to say it. Let me say it again so you understand. I meant what I said. Black men need to leave black women and only talk to them if they come to us on their fucking knees. Kevin was the motherfucking diplomat. But make no mistake. Kevin was the nice guy. Kevin does not represent what a lot of black men want to go. That's really what it is. And if they're willing to die rather than get on their knees, then they made their choice. You know, I think, you know, there you have it. Uh, Kevin Samuels was the nice guy uh, in the space. He's the reason why the Manosphere was able uh, to mainstream. He was able to take some of the more uh, well-known talking points in the space, repackage them, rebrand them, you know, change their image, so to speak, and carry them uh, to a national or crossover audience that many black men in this space would not be able to reach. But as Kevin found success, he also found it necessary to start to distance himself from this space because of uh, you know, the toxicity, but even, you know, there's an element there of, you know, when Ed is speaking about basically these bitches, you know, need to come to us on their knees. That's a similar ethos when Kevin is talking about like winter is coming, you know what I mean? Like, so you're either going to have to come to the table, uh, and submit or, you know, you deal with the consequences of not being willing to submit and get on the black man's program. So I think with Kevin, uh, uh, the, the black man is spheres, official nice guy passing on, um, with the, the, the civil war that has been occurring in the manosphere over the past few months, I see really, um, in Kevin's absence, I see a return, um, to the old black manosphere. So the evolution that appeared to be occurring with the new content creators coming in, some of the talking points starting to shift and go into different directions. Um, Kevin took a lot of heat um, from, from, from black men for his desire to actually even want to have a conversation with black women in a way that he felt would be repairing, right? A lot of the black men in the space, uh, they refer to that as shame, blame, and explain, right? They, they kind of, uh, chastise Kevin, so to speak, for him wanting to correct black women. It's like, why are you attempting to correct them? Let them go their own way. They are a lost cause. Like, why are you trying to get black men to be with black women? And now that he's no longer, um, you know, here, I think that what is going to occur is more and more of the eds of the world are going to start to fill in that particular void because the MTRs, the O'Shea's, I don't necessarily see those brothers coming back. They are successful black male content creators, but to deal with like the politics and some of the continued infighting and beef that the space has become known for, I don't necessarily see them subjecting themselves to that. So Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. This is just my prediction. Of course, I could be wrong, but I would love to hear from you. All right. Peace.